39 volunteers, 20 trucks, and a lot of equipment. It's already on the road here from Pico's Berwyn facility, headed for points south. Crews will be driving for a long time, and then once they arrive in that storm hit areas, working 24 7. This is like my 18th time going off system, so I, I've, been, I've been through this quite a few times, but uh, you never know what you're getting into. But folks like Brendan Woods know when it comes to comfort, it's not going to be much. Their luggage, uh, water, um, of course, their FR clothing. The rest of the space in the trucks for gear. And Brendan and many more will be logging a lot of time on the road before they get to where they're going. It really depends on the devastation. Sometimes we're in tra uh, tents, sometimes we're in trailers, sometimes we're in hotels. It just depends on the devastation, where there's power, where there's not, where there's flooding. It just really depends, but we've seen it all. Crews will be staging and then deployed to areas where the power's out. Some spots, it could be a downed pole, wires, or worse. In Baton Rouge, we lost electricity for three days in a hotel, so it's a little bit better here so far. Larry Daly is already in Florida. I've been doing it for like six years. I actually like helping people out. The King of Prussia based Red Cross volunteer is ready to hand out what is needed once the storm hits and after. My job is distribution of emergency supplies, so I've been preparing my crew and my paperwork uh, once the storm's over. My job is to make sure everybody has rakes, shovels, cleaning kits, water, uh, meals. The Red Cross has deployed tractor trailers of supplies into the Tallahassee area. Larry knows he'll be in the dark once the storm hits. I've been in a few of them before. Yeah, we're in a hotel and we were just told by the hotel that you will lose electricity and water. He also says he's going to be too busy to worry about the lights and the power in the hotel, but who knows? Maybe it'll be one of these crews from down the road from his hometown that'll get it all back and running once Helene moves on.